Hey everybody, this is the Condor 98 again. And uh, today I think I'm gonna be, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm sorry, I think I'm ready to introduce a new segment of my YouTube channel, which is gonna be all about CB radios, everybody. Uh, there's my CB antenna. So I'm gonna tell you a quick little story here. Since Christmas was obviously just a couple days ago, um, this year, I didn't really wish for anything, so my parents thought it'd be cool to start uh, to get me started in uh, CB radios and you know antennas and all that kind of good stuff. So I got a CB radio for Christmas, which is a Cobra um, LTD to Cobra 29 LTD Nightwatch Classic. Um, so basically, I'm going to start with the outside first and uh, go inside after that. Here is my well. This is a home base, obviously, since I don't have a car yet. But um, this is the home base right here. This is my dad's like shack outside. This used to be a bird's aviary. Like a, we used to keep birds in here. Um, but yeah, it kind of got boring after a while. So we gave up. So I'm going to start outside with the antenna. So you can see I have a 10 foot pole. This is uh, aluminum, I believe. And uh, that's going into the ground. Right there, deep into the ground. And as the frame, I have a rebar. Uh, and I hammered that into the ground, and that was 8 feet, so that provides a good ground connection. And um, this uh, pipe right here, this uh, fit perfectly on the rebar, so I didn't have to use any brackets or anything. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's kind of wiggly, and my dogs are jumping up and down on me. So yeah, I hammered that 8 feet into the ground. This fit right on the rebar, nice and sturdy. I'm also planning to put a bracket right here, but uh, I haven't got to that yet, because that's about $3, and I haven't had the chance to go to my uh, home improvement store recently so anyway here I have a ground wire which goes around here this used to be in a different place so that's why it's so long otherwise it just goes to that window but it used to be in a different place like I said so now it's a little bit long but it goes to that window crack also with the coax cable which runs yeah this one which runs all the way up there to my Wilson 1000 trucker antenna also got a no ground plane um, kit for the antenna which installs to that to this pipe right here and it fit oh my god just perfectly I'm gonna try to zoom in here see if you can see it uh, it fit perfectly on the pipe no problem at all no wiggle I just uh, tighten up the bolts and is on there really good that's a five foot antenna with a tunable tip there on top but uh, this was a no ground plane antenna and I, I don't know honestly why I got this because first I got a magnetic mount for the car on accident and then uh, that didn't work out too well because only you know magnum out I have this AC unit here and I thought that was gonna work but apparently it was a little too low and surrounded by this metal fence so it didn't do very good I had very high SWR levels but this is uh, doing just fine and also put these aluminum wires as you can see right there I plan to make those uh, longer because I know that's a little too short for what I have going on here but um, I plan to make those longer maybe you know maybe three feet longer or something like that but that serves as the ground plane radials. I haven't pointed them down yet, but um, so far I have no problem with the SWR. And I'll get to that inside. But uh, yeah, here's the outside. So once again, I'm going to zoom in right there. I have the coax cable running into the bracket that holds up the Wilson 1000 antenna. This is fiberglass, I believe. I got the ground radials right there, aluminum wire. Just extended out in the steel pipe that comes all the way down here. Which I have the ground, uh, ground wire coming in through there goes like that around comes into the window and I have the coax cable so that's outside I'm gonna give a, a screenshot here or whatever you want to call it a view from outside that's kinda what it looks like from outside so like I said I have to get a bracket for that here I'm gonna be doing the inside of the um, my you know like whatever you want to call it communications uh, place here this is I'm using this as a home base once again and, uh, yeah. Sorry, I have no light in here yet because we're still working on the electrical and stuff, so I have no light, and I have to admit it's really cold in here. But please also excuse the mess. Uh, we also kind of use this as a storage for furniture that we don't use during the holidays because of guests coming in and out and stuff. So we just kind of keep it in here. That's why it's kind of messy. So you got the blower and the radiator. I use that to heat because it's pretty cold in here. That's the furniture. Alright, I got two chairs for, uh, here for me and my buddy when we come here and uh, talk on the CB. Uh, since I'm running a home base, sorry for the lighting. Since I'm running a home base, I have a 12 volt uh, 
car battery that my dad gave me for Christmas. It's from Les Schwab. I'm not sure exactly, I mean, you know, like one model and everything, but I'm pretty sure that's not too important. So this is charged up and ready to go. I have a um, float charger here that I purchased from Harbor Freight Tools. I highly recommend that store. It's great. I buy a lot of stuff from them all the time, like this electrical tape, for example, and I used to, uh, that to um, secure some of the connections I made here. So yeah, that's the power that I use for the radio. This is just some cardboard boxes until I get a table. It's kind of, you know, improvised and stuff. But I am planning to get a table in here and maybe put some shelves on the wall and, you know, make this a little more like a, you know, communications uh, room, not like a empty shack. But anyway, for now it'll do. So here, as some of you probably noticed, is my Cobra 29 LTD Nightwatch Classic. It says right, oh, turn it on. Duh. But here you go. This is the Nightwatch version, which means everything is illuminated. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the camera because of the... Oh, here we go. That helped a lot. Okay. Uh, once again, this is a Cobra. But anyway, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it on the camera because um, of the lighting coming from the window. This is not a very good spot for filming. But you guys get the idea, especially if you know what you're working with. Here we have a built-in SWR meter and a SRF which basically shows you how much reception you're getting in like when you transmit and also people that are uh, you're receiving messages or not messages but like you know voices and stuff and that just tells you we have a SWR meter which you know standing wave ratio really important to know what that means that took me a while to figure out since I'm very new to the CB world but um, once you get it it's fairly easy to understand fairly easy to you know um, okay here we have the CAL, which stands for calibration, and basically all you do is, you know, calibrate the SWR meter to fit um, what uh, channel you're planning to test that out on. Uh, here we have, okay, so you already saw that, MB, ANL, this is an uh, automatic noise limitator for, like, car engine. Uh, once again, this is a home base, but this was meant for a mobile, like, car or something, so it has an automatic noise uh, illuminator or whatever, so that your car engine won't sound too loud on the uh, mic. This does have a PA system built in. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a summary of it is a megaphone that you mount somewhere on the wall or whatever. And when you talk through this mic, your voice is amplified. How many times? I don't know. Whatever. High tone, uh, normal tone, which basically means like your treble. If you like the treble higher or lower, I just leave it on normal. I Sorry, you guys can't see, but yeah. Just leave it on normal, which is the bottom version. Here is channel... 19, like a quick, uh, you know, quick thing, channel 19, 9, and then normal, so you can, you know, go through the channels, but channel 19 being a very popular channel, especially for truckers, and, because this is mostly what it's used for now, channel 9 being an emergency channel, and then normal, um, putting it on what channel you'd like, maybe you and your buddies are talking on a certain channel, here's the manual channel switcher, manual channel switcher, yeah, I said that correctly, uh, okay, so hold on. So 1 to 40, as you can tell, I'm already getting some here. But yeah, 1 to 40. Here is the on and off, the little button right here. But it's also the volume and the squelch. I'm not going to take too much time explaining these because most CB ears, you know, usually know what this means. But just a quick little thing, SWR Cal works with the SWR meter to help you uh, calibrate and uh, see how your SWR is doing which is once again very very important a dimmer which dims the radio I really kinda don't understand the point of this besides uh, the separate like SWR and stuff like this because I don't understand why you would need to dim that because you can't see it if you dim it all the way down but I mean whatever it's a cool built-in function and I really appreciate that because Otherwise, at night, especially, you have a very hard time seeing all these, and uh, you have to use a flashlight or something. Here, the RF gain. Uh, this this is kind of like the squelch, but I'm not going to take too much time to explain that. So I believe it's kind of something like the squelch. I'm, once again, I'm new. If I'm wrong, please correct me. No offense taken. Something like that. Just about how much signal you want to control coming in. Like, um, for example, so weaker signals will be filtered if you turn it all the way down, or the vice versa if you turn it all the way up. Dynamic is uh, how much sound you want coming in through your microphone when you talk. So right now I have it all the way up because I'm not a very loud talker usually. I just talk regular. Uh, here's a standard 4-pin Cobra. Regular, no high power or anything. 
uh, this does not require a 9 volt battery so just a regular you know microphone but it really does the job very well and I am really uh, really happy with the quality of the Cobra uh, in the back I have a standard coax you know connection the three pin ground a positive and negative running to the battery um, that's about it in the back besides an external speaker which I can't really okay external speaker and PA uh, yeah uh, what else was I gonna? Oh, okay. Here is uh, the frame, which would normally mount to the top or bottom, whatever, however you want to uh, mount it. But I have mounted it because remember that ground wire, which was red outside, but I just connected two together, so you can just look back in the video. That ground wire runs to this, and this bolt goes through the the radio and is connected straight to the chassis. And I noticed that that would um, give me a lot better SWR meter, a uh, uh, reading. Sorry. So, so uh, yeah. Uh, sorry guys, but as usual my battery's running low on the camera. I have to get a new battery sooner or later But I'm gonna end this video because I don't want it to suddenly end like some videos on YouTube right now I'm gonna make a second video of me um, Showing my SWR readings to you guys and maybe some channel surfing or whatever. So thanks for watching. This is part one uh, Stay tuned and watch part two. Thanks